You know what this game is, right? This is the modern day equivalent of RC Pro Am for the NES. I don't know why they called this game Smash Cars. The objective is not to smash your car, the objective is to drive your remote control car like a freaking maniac and win races. This is a surprisingly good game. It's a nice mixture of a popular Mario Kart kart racing style and like Tony Hawk Pro Skater where you pull off tricks. Barely pulled that one off. The more stars you get, the more nitrous you get on the bottom left. Very important to pull off good tricks during the race. I think I just ran over Frogger. Something about this game also reminds me of the excellent Fatal Inertia. It has really nice controls. Overall, it's just a very well-made game. It's not that big. I mean, this is not nearly as large as Fatal Inertia or Mario Kart. This is on the PlayStation 3, downloadable from the PlayStation Network. Don't let the name fool you. Just call it RC Pro-Am, like Remix or something. That's what they should, they should have just bought the RC Pro-Am license. Or just made up like a, a copy, like RC Pro-Zam. The style of driving in this game is very aggressive, like Fatal Inertia or, or, or Mario Kart, but you're driving these RC cars. And if you've ever driven RC cars, you, you know that your main objective with that RC car is to jump it as high and far as possible without actually destroying it. That's the whole reason you get a remote-controlled car. This game is the video game equivalent of finding a couple trash cans and putting a wooden board or a cardboard box in front of them, jumping your RC car off of them 15 feet in the air and having it land on the ground. It's a really nice feeling of accomplishment. Not only that you got to see your car fly through the air and, and, in, the, and in your mind you're like in slow motion, which they've captured in this game very well. And then it lands and you can do it again. It's even better than a video game. Remote controlled cars. Who knew? There's three different styles of RC car in the game, and as you play through it, you unlock different body styles, which give you slightly different performance attributes. Obviously, you have, like, the big truck RC car, which is good for off-road stuff. It's more durable than you have ridiculously fast, out-of-control, on-road remote-controlled cars, and a bunch in between. The driving in the game is good. It feels like you're driving a real RC car, so it's more like a kart racing game or Fatal Inertia than, say, Gran Turismo or Forza. It's not at all realistic. I mean, you can hit the X button, your car hops in the air, and you can just do a flip at least once or twice while you're driving on a flat surface to try to pick up some extra boost. You saw that right, I ran into a dog. <laughs> also, if you hit people on the beach, they'll kick your car out of the way. It's somewhat similar to a Burnout Paradise in the Burnout games. You're looking for shortcuts and you want to pull off tricks in the air to earn boost. You've got to hammer down the boost button to stay ahead of the competition and there's time trials in the game. It's not terribly easy, this is not just a simple kids game. I play a lot of driving games and it took me several tries to get through a couple of these races. As far as I can tell, there's really only one environment that's chopped up into numerous tracks. I'm hoping that they have more download tracks in the future, because I'll be all over them. We definitely need a lava level and a snow level. We also need flamethrowers.
Smash Cars for PlayStation 3 has online multiplayer, so you can play your friends. My only complaint is that the game is just not that large, but it also does not cost as much as a full-size retail game. So they could easily put some more tracks in the game, give me my lava level, change the name of the game, and they'd have a full-size release here. I think it's fair to say that if you like Fatal Inertia or Burnout Paradise or any kind of outrageous driving game where you rely heavily on a boost or nitrous system to smash other cars into things, that you'll like Smash Cars. Even if you don't like the title. I don't like the title. RC Death Race 5000. That's a title I like.